Welcome to your market update charts of the day. It's Thursday, the 28th of March. I hope you're all well. I'm sure you're looking forward to the long weekend. I hope you all have a wonderful Easter. But in the meantime, it's Mike Smith to Go Markets to lead you around what's happening in markets today as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Of course, we saw US equity markets bounce again. The push back towards those record highs we hit last Thursday, and snapping a three-day losing streak on the S&P 500. It is a shortened week, obviously, this week, but there is key data out anyway, which is going to put the market in an intercepting position, which I'll talk about in a moment. US futures are flat in early trading today. Asian markets are mixed with the ASX outperforming, up around 0.8% with materials, the sector leading the move higher. European equity futures are also pointing to a positive open this afternoon. Uh, outside of that, we're still in pause mode on the USD and copper and oil. And gold, however, did breach record highs. It'll be interesting to see if that holds slightly weaker in Asia today because the US dollar is slightly higher. Uh, Bitcoin continues to pause also, just beneath that 71,000. And of course, we've got that US year on year PCE data released on Friday, but of course, all markets are closed for Good Friday, and that may mean that the response won't be seen until next week. That creates an interesting dynamic for tonight's session. There is a plethora of data out of the US tonight with GDP weekly jobs, housing data, consumer sentiment, and the Q and QPC number. So one wonders whether markets will respond to that uh, rather than the year on year and then adjust accordingly next week. Also, we saw Australian inflation expectations and retail sales soft this morning. This afternoon, we've got German jobs, retail sales, and UK GDP. So a really busy data day for the market to digest today. A couple of charts are going all right today. Bank of Queensland looking interesting in the banking sector. We can see this move up to uh, 6.30, which is just paused around there for right now. If we breach that, we could see a move up to around about 6.60 in the short term, which could be a potential opportunity for a short-term trade. Uh, this would represent highs not seen since April last year, but worthwhile being patient until we get an actual breach of 6.30. The Australian dollar, US dollars looking interesting. We've got a clear support here at 65.17 on the hourly chart, which has been honoured again in Asian trading this morning. So you can see the push upwards out of this range towards this sort of 65.40 level. We think the high probability trade is probably if it makes its way up to 65.55, subsequent to which, in the first instance, we may have a 20 pip up move. But if we get US dollar weakness throughout the day, we could see it up as high as 66. So one worth keeping an eye on at various points during the day, particularly associated with when data is released. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye bye for now.